Hi, this is Kim Pinkney, and welcome to my channel. Okay, well, we're going to do a live, uh, well, a time-lapse replay of uh, how we got as far as we have. And then we'll hop right on in. And uh, for those who are not familiar with how I do this, is like I'm just kind of documenting as I go. Um, uh, this is... Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, babbling here. <laughs> idol time! Uh, K-pop idols as their Zodiac character. And this is Chanmi of, uh, um, I believe it was AOA? Or is it Wonder Girls? Oh my gosh. Words are so hard on Tuesday. Anyway, uh, this is the Year of the Rat. Uh, this is part three. And I want to say we're more than halfway through. Um, I'm only going to do her like from um, her head to her torso because she's sitting in a block of cheese. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get cheesy on this. Um, so uh, I want to, I don't know, this is kind of taking a bit of a turn because it was going to be just a simple girl in a hoodie. And then I changed it to, uh, yeah, <laughs> fooling around. I changed it to... Um, I, you know, it, it's it's evolving in my head, and as I look at it, it's like, I wanted her to kind of look tough, and then, so I added like, uh, you know, wine and cheese, so I have her opening a wine bottle, or has opened a wine bottle with her teeth, so she's got the cork in her mouth, and she'll be holding the wine bottle, you guys will get to that soon, and then um, I haven't started on this side of her hand because like I think it was like day one or day two I realized she wasn't wearing a hoodie I had her in more of a tough girl outfit and I'm like no 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 the whole theme of it all is like kind of playing with the hoodie um and just pushing you know just doing different takes on it but also you know incorporating a couple of different things because I kind of like hoodies uh, I like the zip up, zip up kind, but anyway, uh, ultimately when this is done, it will go on a hoodie. <laughs> uh, so I'll put links up uh, in case you guys are interested in any of the ones um, that I've done. Or if you have any ideas, uh, just let me know and I will uh, see what I can do as, as far as uh, creating something that's something that you would buy. Um, something that would sell. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, it, it's a lot of fun to do this because it challenges the brain, especially when it's like a particular theme and I'm trying to stick with it. Like, I've had numerous opportunities to um, kind of abandon it, uh, but I, I, I love K-pop. I love the way these guys look. Um, I like their aesthetic, and it's so, um, you could do so much with it. So, um one of the things here and and because I'm you know I'm American but I love the Japanese themes and whatnot I'm like let me play on that and so uh, I've kind of got a mishmash of and just like America we're like a big melting pot of different cultures and whatnot all blended together uh, without any rhyme or reason and uh, sometimes without any thought um, or care about other people's feelings <laughs> oh my lord uh, but yeah um, that whole aesthetic of blending things and cultures together uh, to make a, something beautiful uh, or you know thought-provoking or you know just gosh darn cute uh, is is one of the things that I just love doing and uh, Today, I am going to turn this hoodie kind of like into something that uh, is like a samurai jacket or neo samurai jacket or I don't know, but um, uh, that's what I'm going to pretty much do and just try to keep her kind of uh, interesting to look at. So I'm going to redo her hair a bit more. I'm going to work on this hand, but I'm also going to focus on that jacket and uh, doing at least this part of the pants here. Um, so, that is where we are thus far. It's it's pretty low res when it does its uh, time-lapse uh, replay, but it is what it is. Alright, so I was looking at her neck here, and it's like non-existent. 
So I'm going to try to see if I can get her neck in here and then see if I can uh, do a design that is reminiscent of a samurai, um, even though she's Korean. But I didn't think that the uh, Korean uh, armor, uh, feudal armor, uh, was in as intimidating as a samurai. So um, I'm going to stick with the, sam the samurai theme. So we got a couple of different cultures going to be happening. Um, Chinese with the year of the rat. Um, and I think a lot of the Asian cultures have adopted, you know, the uh, animal motif. Um, I'm, the more I'm drawing, the more I'm looking for uh, source images and things like that, the more I come across um, uh, cultural things that are uh, pretty interesting. Um, and I, I can find the names of like realistic things, you know, or, or, you know, the names of the outfits that they wear or wore rather. And it's just fascinating to see uh, the culture and um, I think next month I'm going to play with um, uh, character design creating my own characters because I as much as I love doing fan art and stuff I want to see my own characters kind of come to life I've got a story that I want to write and um, I want to make sure I can get it right so anyway, um, but it's, it's fun looking at other characters and emulating how they are and, uh, learning how, you know, uh, what looks good, you know, what looks interesting and what could I maintain, uh, let's see, for chapters and pages to come. This hand is not turning out the way I want. Uh, give me a one quick second. Uh, let's see um we'll find a paw holding a wine glass ah, ha, 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 i've got one all right uh and it kind of looks natural so let me go ahead and erase because i do a lot of erasing eraser is my best friend that and control z i need to make a, a jacket that says control z on it I really do. Okay, let's see. So for the outline of the the glass, I'm gonna use like this light blue. Just to kinda, I could use a gray. Yeah, let's use gray. And I'm gonna put it on its own layer this time. I'm so notorious for being on the wrong layer. You see, I want a nice, clean layer for itself here. I only get 11 layers to play with because of the uh, resolution on this. Let's see, and we'll have it taper. If I was really clever, I'd turn this into one of those, um, like, mouse, uh, you know, like, like what hamsters drink out of in cages. Now that's clever. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Let's see. Yeah, I think this will work. Alrighty. Okay, and then her fingers, I'm going to use like brown. I want to hurry up and get this hand done so I can uh, get to um, the background. I've got this really cute idea for the background. 
year the rat type of thing. And um, I'm thinking about doing a tribal rat behind her and uh, having it kind of make it in a circle. And then I think I want to do um, uh, a, a, the other zodiac with um, like Pisces and stuff. That's my sign. What's your sign? Yeah, and then I don't know if I want to do K-pop or if I just want to do uh, I don't know cartoon characters or I don't know. I haven't decided yet. It's fun to see, uh, or it's fun to try to draw um, uh, people who you recognize. It's like, oh, I know that dude. Oh, I used to watch that cartoon. Oh, that would be kind of cool. 80s cartoon characters as Zodiac uh, signs. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, the more I look at this, the more I think I want to turn this wine glass gray instead of blue. Let's see if I'm kind of centered. You know what would be kind of cool is if this wine glass was kind of like it had instead of it being this long you know flute type of thing if it was um, like a rat tail. That'd be kind of cool. You could have like a rat tail either here, could put a mouse in there. Um, let's see, let's use a gray. I like the little changes that are in this Procreate update interesting a different just a little little difference here and there I wonder what other things they've added definitely should look that up okay let's see so what I'll do is I'm going to select this layer I'm going to change this blue to gray um, I'm going to select and then I'm just going to go ahead and go over oops I'm going to go over the blue areas with the gray here and make it a little bigger and it should only affect the stuff that's there yeah we make it a little bigger gotta be careful with the fingers let me bring this down just a smidge there we go Got to decide which one is going to be the center here. It's being a bear here. Doesn't want to change. Maybe it's being a human. I don't want to change. Let me make this bigger. Can't hurt to. Let me try this. Doesn't look like it wants to change, so that's okay. Let's go back. A little merge that down. Oops. See. I've got a different texture there. There we go. I'm just going to soften it up a bit. I 
I should just like make it harder because it is glass okay and let's go ahead and just make it a hardcore gray this is weird see if that works for us. I'm going to use a harder brush. Well, actually, I don't need a harder brush. I'll just go ahead and bring this down a bit and put it on another layer just for giggles. I don't know what this is. Okay, it's part of her face. I thought it was one of those stray lines from me adjusting. Okay, let's see. I want to see if I can make a clean line here. Hmm. I can't even see the line. Okay, let's try this. Um, I don't want to diffuse that. Well, shiznit. it? This layer. There we go. Sometimes I forget what layer I'm supposed to be monkeying with. It's just that this looks look uh, a little crooked. It might be on that layer. Yep, that's what I thought. crooked but you know you know no 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 oh I don't know what it's doing stop I just want to make it a nice thin line. Oh, that's all right. We'll make it work. Okay, I'm driving myself nuts with these additional layers. Okay, one layer. Stop, Kimberly. Okay. We should try it one more time. Just want a nice crisp line. Yeah, I need to do some practicing. Yeah, because I'm used to doing um, jagged uh, construction lines. So this line stuff is kind of new to me. You know, we're just trying to get it on one good stroke and I still can't get this to meet <laughs> okay let's see let's try again 
bam, bam, bam. Uh, no. Let's try again. Give it a slight curve. There we go. And still it doesn't meet, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Yeah, I, I never had confidence of my lines. You know, where I could just like, just straight up draw one line to one line, one point to one point, and just be happy with it. And luckily, this uh, program is being kind. Okay. I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to smudge. Just kind of smudge it away. Sashay away. going to be a lot of little overspray cleanup here. Okay, uh, fingers, back to fingers. Make sure that these lines are about the same color. Let's see if we get the darkest one. I meant to put all this on a different layer. That way, if I don't like it, I can always, you know, scrap it, scrap it. Or adjust it pretty easy without having to over select and whatnot. See if we can do some Sasquatch hands here. Let's go squatching. Uh, la 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 la. Now I'm trying to take, um, like I was watching this video. What is, why is that? Okay, I got the soft brush. You know what, bump it. I like this color better. There we go. I don't know why it changed color to like a flesh tone. Um, what Ergo Josh had said, um, that you should try to put out, you know, the best quality that you can possibly do. And I'm like, you know, uh, I never really thought about quality. I only just thought about getting the shit on the paper, getting it out there. And then eventually it would look like something that I'd be proud to say, look, look what I did, you know, type of thing. Um, so yeah, it just made me think a little bit. I'm like, you know what? I, I have been leaving my lines jagged. I'm guilty. I got these man hands going on. And then I, I come back and it's like, oh, yeah, now they're baby hands. <laughs> now that I've zoomed out. Yes, it's important to zoom out now and then. elegant lady hands the lady of leisure here let's see get back to gray oh that is cool now it has history and now it has something else in here too uh, harmony I gotta see what that is Ew. colors oh complementary colors so if I go to green it goes ah Nice. If I go to red, yes. It's like the opposite on the color wheel, so it just kind of nice. I like that. 
Kimberly is, is Kimberly approves. And then, oh, okay. And what happens is these colors, they look kind of gaudy, but when they're together, they make each other brighter. And you use them together. Red, this red and blue, this, let's see, this green and this pink. They just make each other brighter. Let's see. Usually red and green are the ones that make each other brighter. But this one here has it as like the magenta and green. Interesting. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Okay. So let's go back to what we had here. That's kind of cool. And it's nice that they have the history of uh, color. Because usually I would just go back and um, just resample where I've been if I've lost that color and didn't save it. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's get that thumb back in here. You know, um, one of the things I never understood is like, why does my stuff look cartoony? And um, one of the ways to keep your stuff from, you know, if you're trying to go for that realistic look, uh, one of the things that you can do is draw from real life. And that'll help you with that uh, realism part. You'll notice that not everything in life has an outline on it. As a matter of fact, nothing has an outline on it. That's a Auto, auto, uh, it's a trick of the shadows. Yeah, that's the ticket. Trick of the shadows. Now, I wish it would have a history of, like, the brush. Like, ugh. Okay. Hopefully that's small enough. If not, like if I sample like this area here that I'm playing with right here, it would be nice if it could like grab the size of the brush that I was using and the brush that I was using. That would be cool. Less thought, more work. La, 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 la. This music is really super mellow. Let's see, am I gripping this thing right? Let's see, this is on the outside. I get that gray. bring the flute down a little bit more. I still think that a rat tail would be kind of cool. So it's like you can't set the damn thing down. <laughs> it's kind of like the Viking horn that they drink out of. It's like, how do you set that damn thing down? It's like you can't. You gotta hold it and you gotta finish your drink. Because it doesn't have like a flat bottom, it's a horn. Okay, so now it should go into, let's see, is this the rat tail? We'll just have the rat tail of the, the drink come around.
I like how it'll fix my line. Make me lazy. I like that. So rat tail drink. For those serious drinkers. Actually, I probably need to leave that color in there. And probably add... Add the white where there's highlights here. Okay, I need some music to like pep me up a bit. This is all very laid back. Okay, so let's go back and let's look at the latest. What do they have? Okay, let's go ahead and color the paw. Make sure it's about, eh, eh, it's a little bigger than that hand, but I don't know, I'll live with it. Yeah, it is a little bigger. Yeah, it needs to be bigger. Okay. These need to be bigger. Let's see. This is going to be fun. I'm just going to try to roughly grab around the fingers here. And just make them a little bigger. Let me see if I'm on the right layer. I don't know if it's the sixth layer or the fifth layer. Let's try six. Yep, good guess. Uh, reform it. Oh, I got a straight line. I hate when I do that. And I don't know when I, I had done it. Let's see where, hopefully it's on a layer that's not too important. It's on this layer. Of course it would be. Let's see. But am I on the layer? There we go. No whining. There we go. Lovely. Okay. Let's fill her in. Instead of coloring like that, let's do this. Phil, damn you. There we go. I'll just fill in the little bits here.
That's good enough for government work. Open that up a bit. Oops. Yeah, I'm really in love with like Shadowrun. Um, it's a role-playing game that I've um, used to play as a kid. Well, not even a kid, as an adult. Love it, and I, I'm inspired to draw more shadow runny type. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Uh, pretty girl, pretty girl. Um, shadow runny type of uh, artwork. You know, futuristic and pretty. Okay, I'm gonna kind of avoid the line there. I should have put it underneath, that way uh, my lines could stay kind of crisp. Don't know why. It's like it's coming on um, transparently. Why are you so transparent? No photos, clean version, explicit version. Give me some music. There we go. Something with a little beat to it. Morning, damn it. This little finger looks a little fat. Superheroes would be fun too. So we can do futuristic superheroes. And one of the things about um, Shadowrun is that it's, uh, you know, it's like an urban sprawl type of thing. You know, it's all like street and stuff. And then uh, infiltrating the corporates, the have-nots going after the big corporate junkie type stuff. But I think my take will be uh, from a teenager's perspective. Because uh, a lot of the game, you're an adult and you're doing very adult things. But they never show um, what life is like as a kid growing up in that type of atmosphere. You've got all kinds of nonsense that the adults have done. And you're just a squirrel trying to get a nut or learning how to get a nut. But you're not allowed to have any nuts because you're just a kid. And everybody underestimates you because you're just a kid. You barely have any rights. And you're like unseen, which is kind of why I think that, uh, well, that's cute. <laughs> Come back. Give me, give me, give me, give me back my lines. Yeah, I should have colored it underneath. You know, put it on a different layer, the color. To make it easier. There we go. There's something here. There we go. Just need to be able to see it. Big 
big ugly fingers. So let's come back over them. Give it a nice tiny precise line. And we'll bring this down some too. keep our sausage fingers. Why not? Fingers in dire need of a ring. Go ahead and take some of the color from her face and put it on her hands so they look less like sausages and more like a uh, human. Human. Okay, got my Pikachu. Let's see, we're gonna grab a color. So that the top of it is going to get the light. And very tips. Oh. It's going to be a bear. There we go. Be gentle, Kimberly. I'm trying to decide what color I want to do her nails. Maybe we'll have them glow or something like that. That would be kind of cool. We'll have, them, we'll have them glow red. So let's see. See if I can remember how to do a glow. neon glow. Oh, 
Uh oh, what did I just do? I thought I was erasing. Oh yeah, that's right, there's a color underneath. A uh, duh. put another layer. I'm going to outline it one more time with uh, the purple. Make that super tiny. Ah, don't got it in my eye. Must be my finger. Okay, let's see. I'm going to pop this up to two. And I'm just going to write on that edge and just kind of light it like these fingers up and then some of the area around the finger I'm gonna go ahead and purple that up a little bit and then maybe use like a darker tone of her skin and take her skin can you give me That's crazy. Oh, I like these combinations. That's pretty tight. That's color harmony. I don't need it right now, though. Um, 
famous last words, right? Okay, so let's get a little bit of brown going on. Doo -doo -doo. And we'll kind of... It's like, so if the light's hitting it here, it's bright and then it becomes dark. Just a smidge. And I want to uh, also take a little bit of this. Okay. I'm trying to give it like this neon glow. Let's see how far out do I want to go. I think that's pretty. That's pretty far out. Let's see. Do the history. It's kind of cool. All right. Bring this up to two. Just kind of have it glow. And let me bring it back down a little bit more. And we'll even throw a little bit here. And then we'll just kind of diffuse it outwards here. We'll bring the opacity down a bit. Bring that color around. It can affect different other areas. All right, let's zoom out a bit. this in just a smidge and when we erase we need to use a softer brush too mm -hmm. okay I'll bring that down a bit Let's see if I can even smudge it a bit Have LED fingers. Let's see, maybe we'll bring a, a light. And we'll just have it kind of. I think it should have like lightning. Now that looks like varicose veins. Not today. Maybe in the next picture. Get off my picture. Get off my picture. Get it off my picture. Picture. Go back. You don't want to go back. Fine. We'll smudge. I think I went back too far, but that's okay. Let's die.
see, let's make them a little bit lighter. Either it makes her look, fingers look fuzzy, or they look like LED lights. Neon lights. My neon uh, Lee press-on nails. Yeah, like, like that cyberpunk, uh, I think it's 2077, something like that. Um, yeah, I was excited for it until I found out it was uh, like a first-person game, and I'm like, yeah, I don't like first-person shooters. Bouncing gun games suck. They don't all suck, but I suck at them. Truth comes out. Make this bigger. Now I like how this is contrasting with this. It's kind of pretty. All right. Let's see if we can clean this part up. Dun, 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 dun. Get on the right layer. Merge you guys together. Merge it together. Merge it together. Okay. And we'll kind of smudge. a bit of an outline to show where the glow is coming from. Alright. I'm trying to make her fingers look less like talons and more like they're coming out of a nail bed. of brown. Gently tapping to get these guys to come out a little bit more.
So I've got an idea to do um, design on her pants here. Let's see. I'm thinking about. I was thinking about putting a mouse here. With let's see, how do I want to do it though? So the design has. like me whiskers. Like a whisker belt or something like that. Okay, stop with the mellow music. It's too mellow. Let's see. Uh, ooh. Got some little trap music going on. Okay, let's do this.
Phil, damn you! There we go. Gimme, 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 gimme. Okay. Missed that part right there. Let's make sure everything is nice and dark. Nice and dark, darling. Okay. And let's see if we can define it a little better. The harder brush. Or we can give it a texture. Uh, let's give it a harder brush for right now. Oops. Let me drop that. Cleaning up these lines just a smidge. Stuff could be on the other layer. Nope, nope, it's all on this layer. So, um, with the Shadowrun world, I've got um, a group called the Screaming Bastards. They're a uh, SWAT team who uh, is part of the police department, city police department, and not... You would think it would be, you know, separate from the corporates, but it... Uh, the corporate people have their hands in everything. Uh, so they are part of some corporation. Whether they realize it or not. And um, the mayor hates them. And tries to set them up for all kinds of failure. And I'm not exactly sure why she should hate them. Um, maybe they just <laughs> cause too much damage wherever they go. But they all have, like, the Shadowrun abilities, um, you know, where they can hack into things and lots of firepower and uh, even some mystics on, on the, uh, the team. So, uh, and this is a story that's been playing around in my head for so damn long. Um, every, they, they have a problem with holding on to seven, um, members 
uh, every team has it has seven members um, in their group and uh, they can't seem to keep their seventh member alive so they're either uh, they either come up dead or uh, leave <laughs> Because it's a, it's a wacky group. It's amazing that they found each other and work so well together. Because in, in different groups, they don't work as well. They're just as dangerous as the bad guys they're chasing. Uh, so they're the Screaming Bastards. Uh, merge that down. And... Uh, I got, I've got one named Bad Juju, uh, very tall, um, African-American uh, woman, doesn't talk much, because these people don't have anything she wants to talk about, <laughs> too. Um, they're all very loyal to their uh, their leader, um, or, yeah, pretty much the team leader, uh, Hollis, and they're very protective of him. You know, they don't take any guff from anybody when it comes to Hollis. Because um, he, he cares. And he uses them to their best ability. And um, I try to give all of them some sort of weird personality quirk. Which is a lot of fun. <laughs> a whole lot of fun to do. Okay, let's see. Enough about them. Let's see get back to this and I'd like to develop them more uh, maybe in the upcoming videos or something like that as um like I kind of want to document uh, the story as I go draw panels and stuff like that but I have so much going on in this little shadow uh, world that it's I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot of stuff. She has no elbow. It's like an extreme. Let's see. How can I fix this? Oh yeah, I was gonna make this more into samurai armor. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, for flower, one thing, I think I want to put her in, let me, like a plate of some sort. Let me do this. Mm. Lovely. Okay, and we'll bring that upwards. And we'll fill it with... Uh, that was cute! There we go. So she's kind of in the cheese. We'll put a couple other holes in here. I should put like mice in them or something. Oh, I know! We'll put... We'll do this. Um... I got, what what's in there? <laughs> I don't know what layer that's on. Um, dun, 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 dun. Is it on that layer? No. There it is. Stray lines. Do 
Ooh, look at all the choices. It's pretty cool. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Never mind. Okay. Since we're sitting in cheese. Maybe it should have been brown. Anyway. Could be a manhole. You know. Oops. There we go. You. Oops. There we go. Okay, I wanted to fix her neck. I keep saying that. Come on, you. Sample. It's around here somewhere. That's weird. <coughs> Usually, my little little sample guy pops up, but he doesn't want to pop up today. Okay, fine. Don't sample for me. I want your help? No way. Right there, maybe. Let me see. Okay, let's see. Let's do something here. We'll start merging these guys down. Oi! There we go. And you know what? I think I'm done with this layer. Let me zoom out. I want to add more. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, la, 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 la. More circles eventually. Oh, that's right, the background. God, dandruff. Totally forgot. Okay. Uh, la, la, la. But I also need to throw the detail onto her. Okay, let's see. Let's get rid of this. Um,. And then this. I 
hate how that thing pops up and I can't see squat. There we go, we'll bring that down some. All right, now I want to work on the back round real quick. Hopefully it won't take too long. Zoom out here. Hmm, that's weird. For some reason, won't let me see my image here. That's okay. If I still have it up, there we go. Okay. I'm going to have to get rid of her for a sec. Oops, need black. And we'll use a nice round brush. Uh, We've already got a mouse facing forward. Too far. Okay. So like this will be one ear. Whoops. And then the other ear. Let me see if I can make that smoother. Ew. Let's see if it'll fiddle. Yay! Just want to kind of smooth out those lines. going to fill in the whole background. Oh, that's a little messy. Okay, let me back it up. 
now that I'm closer. mad at that geometric shape. an eye here. Probably going to reduce that size. Yeah, I want this one to look different from the mm, rat mouse samurai that I had created just a bit. Let's see, your eye would be. Let's see. Do I know what I'm doing? Hell no. Badger, I want to make a mouse. Let's see. Yep, now I need to practice my tribal, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. There we go.
know too much. This eye is not. This eye needs to come down more. We'll play with that in a sec. Um, come on, Kim. You don't have a lot of time for this, shiznit. Okay. You wanted a mouse that went around in a circle. Uh, la, 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 la. I'm probably not going to keep all of these little shapes here. I should have spelled something out. That would have made more sense. this up. in its mouth. this out of here. I 
I liked how thin that was a second ago. It looks more like a puma than a rat. How do I make this more rat-like? Let's get rid of these. And maybe if I lengthen the nose. Like the muzzle or something like that. We'll lengthen it. Now it looks weasel. Okay, maybe not that. Just enough. Maybe less of this. Maybe this needs to be a little rounder. There we go. Maybe a little bit of that. I don't like it connected though. No connection. That looks wicked. <laughs> Little wicked mouse. How about that? It's a rat. You want to go rat? Let's go rat. the epitome of a rat there. Very sneaky little bastard. But what does that say about my little pop star? No, 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 no. We can't be, we can't be too rat-like. That's too rat-like. Let's see. it up a little bit so it doesn't look so sinister. Definitely gonna have to play with the, this a little bit longer. in this though. It needs to be a little bit more abstract. There we go. And then we'll just maybe curl it under.
thin out this line here. I should make this tilt a bit. Let's see. leave it just for now I can't figure out what I want to do to this eye um, maybe get rid of that little curl in the center here maybe put a different little shape in the center or don't put a shape in there at all This all needs to come closer. Looks more like a cat there. open um, <laughs> I'll keep the open lines I saw this really cute design on uh, the Year of the Rat. I gotta hurry. Um, where it had um, these little shapes here. They look like rat droppings. <laughs> okay, maybe not that. Let me take those off. Um, let's see, maybe a different design. Something that. Let's see. Oh, oh, don't have time. Okay, so what I'll do is I think I'll make these ears a little bigger because they look like cat ears. Let's see if I can make it bigger. I think that helps a bit. Maybe if I turn it. Oh, that definitely looks like a cat there. This is what's making it really look like a cat. Let's see. Is 
I don't want to stop. I got... I got plans. Let's see. How about just that? I'm just kind of... Oops. Now you look like a shrew. I think it's this right here that's throwing me off too. It's... Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Reset. This needs to come a different direction. Uh, let's see. And I'm about to do another replay. It's about that time. All right, you guys. I'm about to leave you here. And I'm going to see if I can come up with a better design. Uh, but I wanted it like the mouse going behind her like this. Um, it looks like I'm going to need a background too. Okay, is she... Oh, okay. Make sure she's not opaque or anything. No? Okay, so we just need white behind her real quick. I'm going to drop um, another layer behind her. Didn't realize how transparent she was. Oh, I might be on the wrong layer. There we go. And we'll just make this a little bigger. And we'll do a quick selection. And it'll be on that layer. Doesn't look like that's helping. How about if I toss it underneath? There we go. That looks a little better. Oh, doing the wrong thing. Let's see. Layer underneath. Okay, then work on this layer. Okay. It's not filling the way I want it to fill. There we go. I wanted to look a little bit more solid. And then, let's see, I wonder why it's not, okay, that's no problem, let's see, we'll drop that, be on that layer, there we go, And then I need to draw a lot more tones on her face and stuff. Just like very washed out. Let's see. Let me change my brush. We got her kind of glowing. Okay. Maybe not so much. Don't glow so much. There we go. There's no helping this, it looks like. Okay. That's a lot better. And we'll just monkey with this one last time. Crap. No time. Okay. Uh, I can I can do it, really. Uh, just want to make it a little smaller. I think this will be better like um, as a tramp stamp or something. Let me see. Let me try this. Yeah, we'll put it on the bottle. Either put it on the bottle or like right there. Yeah, I was going to put it behind her, but it doesn't look like it's going to work out that way. Let's see. So, we'll put this behind her. I don't 
want to block too many of the letter strokes. I'm wondering if I should recolor it. Let's see. I love the color red. Let's see. It's recoloring the background, which is not a bad thing, but we'll play with this another time because we don't have time today just we don't have no time today okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do a quick time lapse replay to show where we how we got this far and you guys i have to get going i will see you on the morrow if you like what you see hey design with phoenix what's up um thanks for popping in and saying hi um so you guys i will see you on the morrow i'm gonna go ahead and leave you with the time lapse replay and um, if you like what you see, like and subscribe, um, or just subscribe or like, or however you feel. No pressure, no pressure, no pressure. And I'm going to be going. You guys, ta-ta, ta-ta, ta-ta. And again, Design with Phoenix, thanks for popping in. Mm, take care. Bye-bye.